Thank you for watching the Fishing Musicians YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe, like, comment, and share any episode you like. This week on the Fishing Musicians, we are partaking in one of my favorite activities, a river run from Mount Carlton Provincial Park in New Brunswick down to Governor's Resort. There's blood on the Canadian flag. The Nipisiguit River is a major river in northern New Brunswick, Canada, which enters the sea at the city of Bathurst on the Bay of Chalor in northeastern New Brunswick. There's Roger. Good morning. All set for the trip? Ready and ready. Nice. Ready and willing. Throw her in here, Ian. Everything is going to go into the... Makes sense. And eh? in the front portion so she doesn't uh, tip over. Rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. Here we go. Problem with this is that you got to pack for... You can pack for a week. It's the same as packing for a day. This is exactly what I said last year, man. Find some ice. So we are on our way, Roger's in front of us. So the plan is we have to drop our uh, one vehicle off at Governor's Resort on the Pisgah River. Uh, I think it's approximately 20 miles. Don't quote me on that. I've done it multiple times, but uh, anyway, so Roger's dropping his vehicle off there. And we've got Heather Kenny, who has been nice enough to drive us up to Mount Carlton, because that's where we're putting in a Bathurst Lakes. You've probably seen that on a few episodes on this channel. And she's going to drive my vehicle back to Bathurst. So we canoe down the river, we stay overnight, and we land at Governor's. So there'll be a vehicle there for us. We load the boats on there, and we come back. Otherwise, if we didn't have a drive, we'd have to drive all the way back to Mount Carrollton, grab the vehicle, and then drive all the way back, which adds another two and a half hours. So, uh, Heather, thank you very much. Thanks, Heather. And, uh, yeah, so we're just on the road here. Uh, two governors, we call this, what is it, Portage Road, there's multiple names, but uh, it's probably got an official route number, so 20 minutes in, drop off Roger's truck, back out to the road resources, up to Mount Carrollton, put in the water, and start doing some canoe. So here we are at Governor's Resort, one of the most beautiful places on the Nipisgwit River, well, by far the most beautiful place in the Nipisgwit River, for sure. Owned by Mr. Mark McCollum, right there. He's going to let us park our vehicle here. The boys are all here. I'll set the rock. Now we leave this one here and we drive back up to Mount Carlton. We're on the last stretch of pave here before we get to Mount Carlton Road, uh, Mount Carlton. And we are just having a little pee break and stuff we always stop here that's the tobik river right there that's fed by the niktaw lakes which is in the province or in the uh park but we are hitting the bathurst lakes which feed uh the nipisgut river which we're doing so we'll be on our way shortly so in carrying the canoe safety first we've got our industry canada standard beacons for notification that our canoe is protruding outside of the truck and it is canada day by the way Happy canada day, so guys. this is a tribute to canada day the greatest country in the world and ian's going to be flying this on his kayak today and tomorrow as an appreciation for the best country in the world Happy Canada Day, folks. Everyone goes silent when the camera goes on. We made it to the park. We have to go check in and see if we have to pay to do the drop off or do we just. Hey. Go. So I'm going to go in and oh, see what's happening. Get up on the phone. Get up. Get up on the phone. Give me back to my own. We are officially on our route. Get up on the phone. Everyone's set. Give me back them out. You don't know what it means to Good me. luck, boys. I gotta get it done. Here's my kayak partner. Uh, something's missing from my soul kitchen, baby. So these are the camp lakes on Bathurst Lake and uh, run by the province. Of course, we're still in the park right now. You can rent these, you go on the Mount Carrollton Provincial Park website and you can rent these. They're usually booked up fairly quickly so you have to uh, make your plans properly. But we're just cruising along. We just left from over there. It'll take a few, few minutes to get through these lakes. 
Oh my god. God, the friggin' moose flies are brutal. The source of the river lies north of the Christmas Mountains in the rugged terrain between Mount Carlton and Big Bald Mountain. The river is followed for much of its length by the Nipissigut Micmac Trail, a hiking and backpacking trail that opened in 2018, retracing an ancient trail and portage route along the river. So we're just coming in. This is the outlet for the second Bathurst Lake. Beautiful spot. No one else on the water. I gotta say the horse flies are loving me big time. Brutal. They're selective in regards to what they're biting. I've gotten a few bites already. I hope it doesn't get uh, too bad because I have a bad allergic reaction to those puppies. Anyway, this is Mount Carlton Provincial Park. We're in the third lake now, Bathurst Lakes, and the weather is absolutely perfect. There's a little bit of wind which is helping us for sure at our back, and we're just cruising through the lakes. We're hopefully, I think Kevin already caught a small little fish, better than nothing. Yeah, so we're just cruising along, and there is uh, Ian going by me with the Canada flag. Happy Canada, Happy Canada Day. Yeah. Arguing on the on the water already. I don't know. I Someone's just lost uh, a hat. someone's lost a hat. I'm about to. That's why we're. I lost my you're, mind. you're good. You're good. You're good. There you go. I just go. remaneuvered. Floating lily pads. We don't know what those are called, but they are there. Look at the horse flies. Like they're flying by the camera. I'm just using an iPhone 11 here to film all this. I've got my GoPro, but with everything that's going on, it's just easier with this. Oh yeah, he's got no problem. Oh, that's not too bad. That's pretty good, boys. You guys did well. Thanks. Happy Canada Day, everyone. We have finally gone through the four lakes, or three lakes. There's the boys, so this is the start of the Nipisiguit River right here. River run starts officially right here. So we're gonna continue on down the river this way. And we're gonna start moving a lot quicker now. And we should be at our campsite within like an hour and then we can get set up and then we can fish. Just cruising down the river, my friends. Enjoying the beautiful scenery. You don't have to paddle much, you just have to steer. So we have stumbled upon our camping spot. The boys are uh, actually stopped in the middle of the river up above, little knowing that uh, we're actually here. This is definitely the spot, and the vegetation here is pretty beautiful. Fire ban has been lifted in the province just in time. It doesn't seem to be helping the flies. We don't know when the flies are going to stop. There's blood on the Canadian flag. And Roger's just giving her. I love seeing that, Roger. I'm the guide and the camera guy, so one thing about being a camera guy, you don't have to do a lot of the physical labor. So the only thing I have to worry about in life right now is the Canadian flag being stuck Yeah, in my well, you're doing house. a patriotic thing. I mean, you know? I, I have way worse. Like, I haven't even sworn about it yet. It's like the best like part of my day. Well, this. I swore when I fucking drove the hook into What's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. Here is my campsite. Derek, I borrowed your hammock. And this is what I'm looking at for a campsite. So it's around 5.30, but the fishing's only going to get good at around 8.30, last half an hour or so. And we're going to slay, and then hopefully we're going to catch a, bit, a few trout and have something to eat. Hammock set up, very basic. And I've got the Etowah tarp that was given to me, just easier to set up. A bunch of points here, obviously. Just tie them off, different trees. One thing we noticed when we arrived here, uh, no one's been here this year or not uh, too recently because the grass, as I showed you previous clip, that there's lots of uh, neat flowers and stuff. But look at this. It's like, seriously? Like, what are you doing? Just take it out with you. So we've got lots of garbage bags. So before we leave, 
we're going to pick the stuff up and we're going to leave it cleaner than it was. It's ridiculous, people. Don't do that. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Just talking about uh, various things. Kevin's in his honey hole right now. The last time Kevin and I ran this, he pulled about 20 of them out of there, this little spot. But they only turned on late at night. We're still got an hour left of daylight. There's Raj. Kevin's got his first fish down here at our campsite. And it's not even go time yet. It's not even close. Not even close. Not even Hey, that's a good little pan-sized trout. That's all right, eh? Yeah, man. Want to keep it or... Yeah, we want to keep it. Oh, did you guys hear hear that moose or Sasquatch? So here's what their situation is, what we're doing today. It is around 7.30 or something like that. We're on the Nipisigut River outside of Mount Carlton, just outside of the park, about a couple of kilometers. This is our campsite. in the skies we're doing covid it's uh june or july 1st canada day. Happy canada day happy canada day and what a day it's been epic yeah so the buzz is uh the buzz of the flies is still continuing but uh ian has got some drumsticks going here look at this Wow. Oh, we'll heat them up on the fire. I may, I may have one of them. I don't know. Well, you got you, man. I don't want to be ignorant or anything. Don't blame don't you. Don't be rude. Be offered already. I expected you to at least two. Wow. <laughs> It's around 6 a.m. We threw out of bed around midnight. Eat something, a couple glasses of wine. Flies relentless non-stop all night. And they're going out now still. It's crazy. It got cool overnight, really damp. We're all packed up, campsite's packed. Basically uh, just putting the fire out. And uh, what I don't know what time it is, about 7.30 maybe? AM, we were up at 6, ready to rock down the river. The main thing is the place is cleaner than when we got here. That's yeah. the main thing. Yes, we cleaned up that garbage it like is. we said we would. Now that all those wild flowers are all trampled down and whatnot. Yeah, and the flies are... Uh, I'm kidding. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm heading into the water because the flies are yeah, let's vicious. Yeah, right here. It's a good time about to happen here. We are making great cinema this we're morning. Fantastic cinema. We're making memories. So what was your uh, memory of the evening? You had a good sleep and everything before oh, we go? A little a, bit of commentary? I had a great sleep there. Yeah. Uh, went the, to bed around midnight, I guess? Look, yeah, right, right around I midnight. I went right after you guys. Uh, the best part of the trip was the big combat dump out by the river. Bun voyage, boys. Be safe. I'll see you down there. If you get to a nice pool, I'll uh, meet up with you. I'm going to be right behind you here. Yeah, yeah, we'll check it out for you. Well, it's on, boys. All right. Stuff ready here. Good pack. Simple to get in here. It's tough to film while you're doing it yourself, but pretty efficient little machine. Except when going back, guys. Placing a few casts alongside the river. It's really low and quite slow. It's getting a little faster right here. Sorry, not too much uh, video fishing because I'm holding my phone as we fish. So anyhow, better get uh, out of the way of this tree that's coming down.
I've caught four here. I've been here five minutes. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you what these beautiful trout look like. Just catching one after another, a small but beautiful species. I don't even take them with a water fly. Quick release, and they're gone. I could do that now, but I can't show you because I'm holding the phone. Just a little update for you. I'm heading back or sideways down the river here. We just passed what we call uh, McEwen's Bridge, and we're coming up to Pentland Brook here on the Nepisgut River. I don't know how far that is from Governor's Lodge, probably about 12 kilometers. Um, we're not sure if it's going to rain. It's looking not good. And the wind is blasting up in our face. And the worst part of it is the, the river is so low that we've been constantly getting out and have to pull the canoe. The guys tipped a while ago. or well, not really tipped, but they got hung up on a rock. It's really hard going in on the kayak. So we're trying to just get back. We had a lot of great fishing. Um, so basically, uh, I can't really film and paddle at the same time. This is the first break we've had really with some dead water here for hours we've been going on it for uh left at 7 30 this morning it's approximately around 1 30 so we should be back at around supper time if the weather cooperates but right now i'm not even moving downward on the river as you can see i'm kind of just floating here because the wind is pushing me up so kind of sucks but anyway we'll keep you updated on uh, how far we get in a bit Here we are inside the bank. You just saw Roger and Kevin blast by here. Uh, we've probably got about seven or eight kilometers left to Governors. The weather's holding out. Flies are vicious, but there's less rocks and stuff now so that we can actually motor down the river. So nothing really exciting. We haven't really done any fishing. A lot of really great spots here in the Pacific for trout. Nothing of size, but uh, when you get down in the lower portions of the river, you'll get a lot bigger trout. It's actually a Crown Reserve there, daily Crown Reserve. Uh, below Governor's Resort, that opens up on July 15th till the 15th of August, and you can apply for that through the Governor of New, uh, New Brunswick on their website. And great trout fishing there, so you get it 24 hours. So let's continue on down the river before they take off. Boys, another portage. We thought it was done, but it's not. So this, my friends, has gone on for this all day, in particular those two. But this is just kind of what you see when you do this. Real cute, guys. Real cute. Just lazing down the river. A little less than seven kilometers to go. We just passed Pentland Brook. Oil's on up ahead. The boys are uh, still have to do some portage and do bad for them. Because I'm just giving her. Giving her. Late, sir. Yeah? Portage again, are you guys? Yeah. Portaging? Yeah. There, so we've officially made this trip. We're done. How did you made her out, Raj? That was pretty rough. Hardcore. That was a. That was a how many times you figured you got out of the canoe Two? and back? Oh, Hundred. <laughs> it was a lot. That was pretty hardcore. Yeah, it's uh, but fucking easier now that I've lost a bunch of weight. Oh, yeah. Shit. So anyway, thanks for watching us. Please hit subscribe. <laughs> thanks for watching Fishing Musicians YouTube channel. And until our next adventure, thanks for watching. Can we see the flies? Look at the flies. We're supposed to be done filming, but it, the flies are atrocious. We are set and packed. That is it. Kev, had so, one hell of a trip. Here's one hell of a trip. A little bit of ups, a little bit of downs. The, uh, the long story short, though, is what happens on the Bogan stays on the Bogan. Yeah, and uh, you guys did quite well. That was a that was pretty hardcore for nine, ten hours. Hard. Really, really, really low water, like a lot of pulling, a lot of pushing. Bra pump. <laughs> See you in a Pisquit for another trip. Until next time, thank you for giving up your throat.
Thank you for watching the Fishing Musicians YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe, like, comment, and share any episode you like.